Yo, what's good? It's your boy on your two times. It's your boy X, man. Yeah, man. Today we're gonna be reacting to Tory Lane's song called Why Did I? Make sure before we get this video, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, we at taboo, nigga. We at taboo tonight. Yeah, big, big. Yeah, got bubbles. Why did I bring you outside? You know all the thoughts still I be high in Leah, 826 and poppin' not still So much though, can't keep it low, you know if I was not still yeah. Told my bitch I went there just for pasta But I drove him back on Black McLaren like a monster Oh, pretty bad, bitch, it's on my roster Gotta get it back Yeah, man, I've been a taboo, I ain't never been to 826 when that's like You been in there? Huh? You been in there before? Yeah, I've been to the one in uh, Miami, not the one in the house What was that like? Some ass You was throwing that? I was throwing like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab like 60 minutes real quick, you know what I'm saying? Wait, the first thing to throw coins in the truck for me. Nah, it was crazy though, the, the night I went in there to be quick, the night I went in there, nobody was throwing money. So when I was throwing money, everybody was coming to me. And it was just mad awkward, because it felt like me, I was doing charity work. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that, that kind of makes sense in a way, it's like, yeah. let me go to the motherfucker throwing money, money yeah. everybody else is calling and shit. But it just made it feel weird because I don't really like throwing money, so you know what I'm saying? It just, oh, like, it just seemed a little interesting. But when I went there, yeah, nah, but it was funny though because um, when I went with Ply, when Plies and um, Jeezy was there, mm -hmm. everybody was throwing money, so it was normal. So like now you felt like a normal strip club experience. The last time I went there was just hood niggas eating food and drinking, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it's over red and black. How the fuck you go so red and black? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, which is not, but I think I, maybe it's just the movies like Players Club, shit like that, mm -hmm. get you kind of fucked up. But it's kind of like, to me, it don't make sense why you go to a private room to get a dance. But I mean, I think it's a more, some more intimate experience where you dance, get somebody gets to dance on you, it's more. Well, to be honest with you, if I'm asking for a private dance, I'm probably going to smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, yo, let's leave. Like, I, I'll just say, oh, I'm not, we're not going to no back room. But I'll probably pay you like $10 in the Uber. Wow. Well, yeah, there's respect. Well, what if I said, if I said $10,000, that's not, that's just not, that was not the smoke room. Nah, what you gotta say is like, yo, let's grab some, some drink chicken and we could be out to the hotel. <laughs> so pay something. That's ten dollars right there. It's ten dollars, but it looked like less disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, hey, listen, listen. it's like, hey, yo, how about you come up like at the club, right? But if there's an expectation to fuck, I'm not, and I'm spending my money mm -hmm. to fuck you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? When you're trying to give it something like a surface level thing, what do you call it? Like a like. At the, like when you're not saying what it really is, you're kind of just saying something to make the person feel better. What do you call that? Surface level conversation? 
Nah, it's like another word. word there. Oh, no, I can't think of it right now. All right, you basically we fronting like mm-hmm. saying what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying money. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not gonna be like, let's go um eat jerk chicken in the room. Yeah. Nah, bitch. Come up, come up. I give you this little money. You gonna suck the dick? <laughs> And there you go home. $10? That's wild. Not for $10. $10 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be funny. But I'm saying. Now, nah, if, if all you want is $10, I'm going to you to try to rob me, to be honest with you. <laughs> That's like you some badass bitch, though. And you, just give me that, you just give me that little 10 right there, man. You'll be good. For Anything in the United States under like $200 is just wild. So, what's the most you'll pay? Huh? What's the most you'll pay? I've never paid or oh, will we'll be willing to pay because no. I've never paid. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get him, y'all. I try to get him. Nah, so I mean, I think. How much, how much is the most you would pay? For some homes? For some homes. I don't really want the homes. I don't really want the tops. But I mean, I think the most I pay for some tops is probably like 300 Most. In sale? <laughs> <laughs> So any amount you said, I was going to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But for me, I don't know, because I feel like it depends on where I'm at financially, to be real, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause... But listen, I know it's going to sound crazy to our younger audience. Like, y'all would make a pussy? Mm-hmm. Listen, if you're in a different tax bracket, mm-hmm. that's the best way to go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of girls, they... They ain't trying to do something to you anyway. Mm-hmm. Especially if you motherfucker that got the bag, mm-hmm. why not just make it a, make it a direct payment and then tell them lease? Well, yeah, nigga, I'd be like, nigga. That shit easy. I paid $400 for her. I did not do anything to her. Exactly. Tyrone came here last week. He said he paid $400 ago, too. Matter of fact, if you cash out that bitch mm-hmm. after y'all fuck, mm-hmm. and then you put for fucking in the, in the little cash app um, mm-hmm. uh, texting that you can also send, fuck this bitch don't say no. I'm not saying that means you can just do anything. <laughs> just to be clear, so y'all like to twist shit up and yeah, get into this shit. Nah, you can't do it. But I'm saying to protect yourself from her saying some shit to try to extort you. Mm-hmm. Like this happens a lot with people that got money. Mm-hmm. You got that? Yeah. Mm, you you just pay these bitches. Like you, you have... better off doing that, to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. If you the motherfucker that got money like that, mm-hmm. you better off just giving these bitches money and telling them to leave. Mm-hmm. All right, man, you go on. She's like, damn, I don't know how I'm gonna pay for groceries. Like, I don't even know. Pay yeah, it's 500. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yo, good luck with you and your situation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe we get back around sometime later. But now I know. That's it. Yeah. Just be straight. You, you be straightforward with these shorties. Like, all you want is sex. Mm-hmm. When you got the bag, you'll be in a better spot. Right. Hold this little bitch pussy tight, I call a shot and pull a grip She just wanna ball with a nigga, make it all the deal Talking too much, got me thinking, why did I bring you outside? Cash got a money, playing fives outside Ooh, I'm sad, you don't stop, but I pull up Why did I bring you outside? But it's a lot of niggas, with some money outside Miami Yogi. Yeah, man. That was Tory Lanez. Why did I? Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all share, make sure y'all subscribe, man. We got it.